today I am up at our amateur radio repeater site. I am tuning some cavity filters, duplexers, and uh, swapping over, doing a couple of tests with some pass filters to try and notch out some interference that we've been having on our repeater. Now, I'm gonna go through what a duplexer is and what I've been doing today. So we'll start around here. You can see here in the rack, we've got heaps of filters going on here, but what are duplexers or cavity filters? So basically, what we've got is here, we've got three duplex, uh, three cavities per per side. Um, now, I think these are made by TX RX Systems, yep. And these allow us um, to be able to run a transmitter on 146700 and a receiver on 146100, uh, 600 kilohertz apart. So what this does is, is isolates basically the transmitter from the receiver so that you don't get descent. So what happens is, is if you transmit on 146700 and you're listening on 146.1, it can, can completely wipe out the receiver. So we need these uh, filters in a repeater system to be able to um, notch one out from the other. So yeah, we get uh, a little bit of insertion loss as well. So on our transmit side, we've got 1.62 dB of insertion loss, but we get 90 dB of notch on our uh, other side, which is, uh, which is pretty good. And then we've also got our receiver side over here, and then basically that connects up into the back of the repeater. So you can see here, here's the transmitter cable coming out. That goes into one side of the filters and then basically comes back here to the antenna. And then we've also got the same on the other side where we're actually running through a couple of other filters and I'll go through those in a second. Uh, that goes up to our receiver. So these are tuned, these are very notch filters. So basically what you do is you tune this um, variable plunger up and down for the uh, pass so for the frequency you want to pass and then once you've done that then there's a little capacitor in here which you adjust for your notch so um, if you look on a spectrum analyzer and I can overlay some uh, some examples on the video here of what I'm talking about then you can adjust those so that they're smack on uh, on frequencies so I've swapped these filters out for those ones those cans are going to another site I need to retune them up I think they're Telewave, Telewave duplexer. We have a lot of interference on this site uh, because it's uh, got a lot of other high broadcast transmitters. So what we've got is we've got some other filters. So these are bandpass filters and what we've done is here we've cascaded a couple of them. So the only issue with these duplexes or these cavity filters is, is that they're good for notching out one frequency from another, but they're no good at notching out generally other frequencies outside of the uh, outside of what they're designed for. So, for instance, FM radio or television broadcasts uh, or other, say, uh, two-way radio systems, they'll just pass that frequency straight through the can uh, cavity filter straight into the receiver. And then what happens is we get the same thing. We can't hear the signals that we want to hear. So that's where these come in. Now, these are basically just one adjustment. You just adjust it for the frequency that you want to pass and that will pass that frequency and, and uh, hopefully notch out uh, a lot of the rest of them. Now, uh, the design of these means that they can't be used as, as these filters are to notch out a nearby transmitter, but they can be to uh, knock out other transmitters to stop our receiver from our front end overload. So I'll put a graph up anyway of the, uh, the measurements that I've got on this filter in particular. This is actually an old mid-band 70 megahertz filter that I cut down for two meters and it actually works really, really well for a bandpass filter. So that then, uh, so basically this cable comes out of our receiver. It goes into this smaller, smaller filter, which isn't as good as this one, but then that combined with this one means that it works really, really well and we get to notch out uh, everything that we can basically notch out. It's working, it's still not working as we would like it, but I mean, there's, there's only so much that you can do um, on these uh, type of sites. So. Obviously, a lot of you know that I love repeater systems. I don't know whether that's the right term to use. Love, I enjoy working on them, but they are very, very frustrating sometimes. If you wanna see some of my frustrations and some of the solutions that I've come up with with fixing repeaters, then there is a playlist over here of all of my other ham radio repeater antics.